Bro, this guy keeps changing race. Bro switched races again. Bro needs to stop changing races. Bro is changing races faster than my dad left. <laughs> Listen up, boys. Huh? I read all the comments, so I know exactly what you want. You guys want another race video? Yes! That's what you guys are gonna get. Okay, okay. On a real note, though, this is gonna be the last race video I do for a while. The only reason why I did one more is to close it off using the rabbit race. I don't typically use this race, but huh? I do know there are two types of people that exist in this world. The first type of person uses the rabbit race to smack you with one ability, then runs all the way across the map, but you can't catch them because they're super fast. And the the other type of person uses the rabbit race to charge head first into you and you can't even hit them because they're so fast. So long story short, you're either really good with this race or really bad. There's no in between. Unlike any of the other races in this game, you get like zero defense boost. This is all just about speed. There's no defense, there's no damage, there's no nothing. It's just speed. And that's why it goes back to what I said. You're either really good or really bad. You can either dodge everybody's abilities and counter or you can either just run away and just never take damage anyways to begin with because you don't fight. So in this video, I decided to find out which one I'm gonna be. We're gonna be using combos I don't ever use in any other videos. Huh? You check my stats, I got my points into melee, defense, and sword. I'm gonna be doing what a lot of rabbit users use, and that is portal and just comboing like crazy. But before I do that, I wanna show you guys what these abilities do. With the rabbit race, you get the V3 ability, which just gives you extra speed when you activate this. Pretty nice and all, but that's not the main star of the show. This speed alone is really good. Huh? Once you get into V4, you are insanely fast. So here we are in V4 formation. Now everything looks a little different. I got this green aura around me and I'm like full of electric shock. But what's pretty cool about the mink race is how fast you are awakened. When you activate your V3 with it, you are speedy. Not only that, but now I get these cool tornadoes every time I dash. This is the only reason why I like this race. It is so fun trolling people with these tornadoes. They deal crazy amounts of damage when you just spam them. And you could definitely ruin somebody's day with this. There is another option as well where you can just dash a super supercharged dash, but I didn't unlock that one. I like the tornadoes because that's just pretty much trolling everybody. Time to say goodbye to our fans because now we need to hop in a public server and actually see how this race performs in real PvP. Here we are in a public server, boys. Let's hop out here and see if anybody's willing to PvP us. And we already got somebody chasing us down. This is crazy. We're also using the gravity cane combo. I forgot to mention that and... Um, I didn't even finish my sentence and I deleted him. This is actually really strong. That had nothing to do with the race, but uh, this combo that I'm doing using the gravity cane and portal is on a different level. Huh? This guy trying to fight me again. He's using leopard, so he gets that, like that bonus leopard defense and oh yeah, no, he's 100% trying to fight me right now. This is crazy, boys. Broski's about to get destroyed here real quick. Go ahead and do that. We need to go ahead and move. Let's just go ahead and do this and there we go. We killed him and uh, we could go ahead and transform into V4 here. What are they saying in the chat? They're saying, nah, this this can't be. Number. Oh, they recognize me. No way he's OP. Oh, I'm getting hunted by the whole server now. Okay, let's just go ahead and, you know, hunt this guy down real quick. And wait a second. I don't think he's actually trying to fight me at all. I kind of feel messed up for this one. He wasn't even high enough level. Oh, the leopard came back for his revenge. Okay, okay. We can't mess around here. We might die if we troll. All right, let's go ahead and clap this leopard for a three out of three real quick. Look at how fast I am. The leopard can't even catch me. I'm just running around. All right, now I'll actually try to kill him. Go ahead and do this real quick. Go ahead and combo him there. And oh my gosh, I accidentally hit the wrong person. Where did this leopard guy go. There we go. Can we bring him back down here? Nope, he slid underneath me. He went under the radar, but we can just dash and kind of troll him with the race now. I'm not even gonna damage him. I'm just gonna spin around him like this. He's kind of stuck in my tornadoes. Oh my gosh, I killed him with the tornadoes. Bro, okay, the race is actually helping me a lot. This is so funny. I could just troll people by using this. So far, I think I'm definitely the type to run into the action, not run away from it. What's cool about the rabbit race and these combos is that when you use portal with the rabbit race and you're so fast, it kind of doesn't really matter what sword you use. So for example, right now I've been using the gravity cane, but let's switch it up with another sword, like the shark anchor. So now let's go out here and see if anybody's willing to PvP. Huh? There's the beef. I want the smoke. Someone pull up. Oh, we got a cyborg user over there. That's V4 that's willing to pull up. Is he trying to say something or is he trying to fight? Oh, it turns out he said count in the chat. All right, say less. We got a friendly 1v1 going on here. 3, 2, 1, go. Huh? I don't typically see these. Let's go ahead and, you know, just uh, go ahead and do some PvP real quick. And oh, he dodged me. This is pretty good. Let's go ahead and do that. And oh, we are just missing combos back. 
back to back. He missed his combo. I missed my combo, but hey, that's just how PvP is. Go ahead and do that. Oh yeah, that was juicy. Go ahead and deal the most damage there. My X ability was on cooldown, so I couldn't complete the combo. Unfortunate. Go ahead and do that. Perfect. Can we snipe him out of the air? We can't. Go ahead and do this. Oh, he dodged it midair, but we caught him midair as well. Oh my gosh. Oh, he was able to portal out of that. That was interesting. I do love being fast though. I'm not gonna lie. This helps a lot being super fast. Go ahead and do that. There we go. Finished him off. Oh, just kidding. Oh my gosh. I'm actually having so much fun with this. Let's just go ahead and uh, do the shark anchor there. There we go. We hit him there. There we go. We finished him off. 16.8 thousand bounty. Oh my gosh. He was worth a lot, but that PVP was actually very, very fun. Wait, huh? he said GG. This guy's a good sport, but can we look at his avatar real quick? Bro, why is he using a crutch? Or what do they call those things? A walker? He's using like a walker. I can't lie, boys. The rabbit race isn't very good for like defense and offense and anything like that, but like it has so much crazy mobility. This makes PVPing extremely fun. You could do so many combos. You could run around and have so much fun. We are going to continue testing the rabbit race, but while we test it, I want to switch to a sword I don't typically use, and that's going to be the true triple katana. I know a lot of you guys are actually big fans of these swords, but I don't even have them upgraded. Let's find out if I'm going to be cracked with these or I'm going to be caca. There's some guy over here. Does he have his PVP on? Oh, and he absolutely does. I just missed embarrassingly bad, and he doesn't even know I'm fighting him, bro. Well, that one doesn't even count. I just got free bounty just because. I don't know what I'm doing, but I think I'm hunting down a hacker. Why is there a boat here? There's a hacker riding a boat here. What the heck, bro? All right, let me just go ahead and kill this hacker real quick. How did bro bring a boat all the way over here? What happens if I sit on it? Will I, like, break the server? Huh? Let me try sitting on a boat and, like... What the heck, bro? Bro, this hacker brought a boat to land that I can drive around. No way. This is the first time I've ever seen anything like this, bro. Wait, what happens if I go down the steps? Do I still fly? No, they go down the steps as well. What the heck is this, bro? Oh, well, I guess I'll leave this boat here for somebody else to come find. I need to go fight some players. Oh, what do we got going on here? We got two max level players trying to farm the boss here. It'd be a shame if I were to just ruin their farming session. Just go ahead and do this. Do they even have their PvP on? Oh, yep. It says in combat. That means they got their pvp on and Ele captain elephant get out of here bro what are you doing bro is saving them from death all right i'm just gonna go ahead and suck them in my portal dimension there we go this guy is trying his absolute best to get out of here a little does bro know he's about to get comboed go ahead and do that there we go go ahead and do that oh my gosh he's trying to make a run for it but little does he know i got the rabbit race so i could chase down runners let me just go ahead and do that there we go he's one shot away from dying and oh my gosh i missed it doesn't matter i just punched him to death huh? the rabbit race gives me so much speed i could chase runners down i completely forgot that's a Thing. Typically, people haven't been running in this video, but hey, we got some runners, which is nice. Huh? Since I am super fast, there's another max level player over here. Let me just go ahead and chase that guy down real quick. He might be getting electric claw. Does he have his PvP on? Oh, somebody else is messing with me. All right, broski, where did you go? Go ahead and try hitting me in the air. He is hitting me with the love fruit. Nah, broski's about to get clapped. Where the heck is broski going? Let's just go ahead and uh, clap broski. Go ahead and do that. There we go. Go ahead and finish him off with a nice combo. For some reason, he didn't get knocked up because he's got some McDonald's Wi Fi. And what the heck? How come he gets his awakening. Doesn't matter. I'll go ahead and clap broski if I have to. Easy peasy. Go ahead and do that. He is trying to clap me so hard, but he won't do that. Go ahead and do soul guitar. There we go. Oh, his friend came to save him. I might be getting double teamed here, so I'm gonna have to awaken. I need the speed. Go ahead and do that. There we go. There we go. He's like one shot away from dying, but for some reason, my ex ability decided not to work. Oh, he left the game? Nah, after that fight, he rage quit? Nah. Wait, is that his friend over there? It is. Let's go ahead and hunt him down real quick. And wait a second. I missed? Nah. Let's go ahead and clap this guy real quick there we go 11.3 thousand bounty and i am loving this race you just move too fast people can't even keep track of you it's 2v1 and we still won with the rabbit race huh? this might be the move boys but of course it comes down to your play style whether you want a bunch of defense you got to use the shark race if you want a bunch of offense you got to use the human race if you want healing you got to use angel if you can't decide you use ghoul if you want speed you choose rabbit and if you want to be a robot just choose cyborg but that concludes this video boys if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it you know what to do smash that like and subscribe button and don't forget to click on one of these videos on the screen youtube says you might like it peace